What's going on guys? Today I have a holiday special keyboard lighting design for you guys. This design is going to be the Thanksgiving turkey design. This keyboard lighting design was actually made due to a comment request by Turtle Turfs. He said, can you make a Thanksgiving chroma? Thank you. So because it is the season, I decided to sit down and quickly come up with a Thanksgiving design. What I came up with was a design that looks like a turkey and it's got a wave in the background with some fall colors kind of representing the tail feathers of the turkey as always guys there will be a download link for this keyboard lighting design in the description below but if you want to see how i made it stay tuned if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button there will be lots more keyboard lighting videos for you guys in the future so without further ado Let's get into this video. All right, to start with the Thanksgiving turkey design, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a brand new wave layer and we're gonna delete the spectrum cycling layer. Now with this brand new wave layer, we're going to hold control and we are going to select out the shape of our turkey so these keys right here are gonna represent the shape of my turkey. And once I've got these selected, I'm gonna click on my color drop down, And in here, I'm just gonna select a three tone color gradient. Now with the first node, I'm going to just select in this color bar here and I'm gonna select a brownish color. I'm just going to drag over this selector till I have a brown color. Copy that code and we're gonna paste that into the right node over here. And then we're also going to paste it into the middle node as well, but we're gonna drag the brightness selector up the meter and just make it a bit brighter. Click off of there. Now we're gonna check the split option and we're also going to turn the speed down to about eight. This looks good, I'm gonna hit save. Now we're going to choose some keys that are going to represent the turkey's head. So I'm just going to select some keys in here just like this. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the brown, but do a red color just like this. And we'll hit save. And last but not least, we'll do it with this one key here in the middle that is going to represent the turkey's beak. Click on your color drop down, choose a yellow color. And once again, we'll choose yellow for the, the sides as well. Make it a dark yellow. Copy the code, paste the code. That looks good, I'm gonna hit save. Next, we're going to make the multicolor wave pattern that's gonna represent the turkey's tail feathers. To do this, I kind of left a one key space between the turkey and this wave that we're gonna put in. So I'm gonna hold control and I'm just gonna leave a key space and select everything that's left of that key space. And I'm gonna click on this color drop down, and I'm gonna choose a five tone color here. So I'm gonna start with red and I'm gonna end with red. That way we don't have any jumps in our color bar. And then I'm gonna go with orange, yellow, and I'm also gonna go with a green here, but I'm gonna drag that a little bit uh, more faded. Just like this, that's all I'm gonna do there. And once I have these colors, I'm gonna change on the left side of my turkey, I'm gonna change my angle to about 235 degrees. Now I'm going to copy this effect and I'm going to paste this effect on the right side of the turkey now. So I'm gonna select these keys for the right side and I'm gonna paste that effect that we did from the other side in there. But with these ones on the right side, I'm going to angle it over at about 125 degrees. That looks good. I'm gonna hit save. And we're actually done with the color portion of this design. To add the color to your peripherals, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna duplicate this layer. With this new layer, we can just rename it to peripherals. And this new peripherals layer, we're just going to copy this left side wave we got going on here. And we're gonna paste that. 
and to all of our peripherals that are on the left portion of our setup. Just paste that in there. Same thing with the right side. Copy the right wave over here, and we're just gonna paste that on all of our peripherals on the right side. Now in this peripherals layer, we're going to select all of the effects on our keyboard and hit the delete key to erase out the effects on there. So now you have one layer for your keyboard, one layer for your peripherals. With the reactive layer, we're going to click reactive and add that layer to the top. We're gonna to select all of our keyboard, choose a white color, which is six Fs as a hex code. You can make it however fast you want. I'm gonna make it slow and hit save. Now for the audio meter, we're just gonna add a new audio meter layer. Select this new audio meter layer. And what I did is I just made an audio meter on this left side here. So with this top key, I'm going to click on my color gradient and I'm going to choose a two-tone pattern just like this. First node, we're gonna make it invisible. And the second node, I'm going to make it white. And I'm just going to drag it to the top here. So when audio levels are really high, this key will light up. So with that in mind, I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna copy this effect that I have on that key and I'm gonna paste it in the one below. And with this key below, we're just gonna drag this down a little bit, just like this. So now this key will activate and turn white slightly before the top key does. And we're just gonna do this all the way down the left side. So we're gonna copy this key, paste it below, click on our color gradient, just slide it down a little bit. Copy, paste, click color gradient, slide it down a little bit. Copy, hit paste, and on the very last key here, you're just gonna take the invisible key out. You're just gonna take this invisible node out of the equation. So just delete that and hit save. With this very last key, what we're gonna do is we're going to make it a two-tone color, and we're gonna make both nodes white, the one on the left and the one on the right and hit save. And that's all there is to making this design. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and bell icon. That way you guys see future keyboard landing videos. As always, you can follow me on my social media accounts if you want to chat. Maybe you have a design request that you guys want done. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or you can even find me streaming on Twitch every once in a while. Please go check out those social media accounts. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.